Hi, it's Michael from X125. I'm here to explain some of the new engines that we have for uh, 2019. Um, one of the ones that we've been using and the most successful over the last few years is the X125T, as many people are familiar with. Um, but for 2019 and the end of 2018, as everyone is aware, the air cool is becoming more popular, so X125T has come out with their own version of the air cooled. Uh, the X125AC is what it will be officially called, and it is designed to compete with IAMI and the Vortex, so the engine parameters are very similar. Uh, the carburetor uses 24 millimeter carburetor, the same as the uh, IAMI. At KA100 and the Vortex Rock. You can also use a 24 millimeter Triton, which is optional. Uh, the unique thing about this engine is that it still utilizes the counterbalance system, um, which reduces vibration, which is different than the KA100 and the Vortex Rock. Uh, the reason why X125's integrated this system into the air cooled is so that with the extra vibration with the, the fins, it still reduces the vibration for the driver as well as the engine. So that's a great feature. Now the really great thing that we're excited about is that this engine, by simply removing the cylinder and the head, converts into the water-cooled X125WC. So these two engines here, uh, for people who are juniors or seniors who start out in the air-cooled, they've got the unique ability to go from a 100cc engine and simply by changing the cylinder and the head, um, you can run the water cooled class and go to a 125cc. So there's a few differences you'll see, the clutch cover, um, the ignitions will be the same. These are quite new, so you'll see this one does have a different ignition, but the, the ignitions will be universal. And the other thing that we're really excited about is where a lot of the other tag engines in this category, particularly the water-cooled, um, they're in the over $3,000 range, uh, even the X125T. Now this one has an onboard water pump which increased the price of production, so the newer one, um, since it's sharing the same case as the air-cooled, it does not have an onboard water pump. It still has the counterbalance shaft, as you can see here. Um, and a nice overflow bottle for the oil that sits in there. But since it's a little bit simpler of an engine, it's decreased the retail price to $2,600 instead of over $3,000, like a lot of the engines in its category, as well as the air-cooled is about $100 cheaper and it's around the $2,400 range. And they do come as kit with kits, so the pipes, air box, they even include the motor mounts, which the older, uh, or the other version, the T did not come with motor mounts, as well as a lot of the other engines uh, in the market don't include the motor mounts in the kits. So great package, we're excited about them. The other thing that's unique about the WC is that where the X125T had a 23 millimeter carburetor option and 27, the X125WC will just have the uh, Triton or Tillotson 27 millimeter carburetor. And the reason for that is just to simplify things for the consumer as well as with a billet carburetor, it limits the ability for people to mess with the carburetor and the casting. So it's much easier for the tech officials to detect the carburetors. So as you're watching this video, I'm sure that you're thinking, great, what another, just what the market needs is another new engine, but uh, X125 took a unique approach to this, and with the market changing and the demands of the market, they have an integration between air-cooled and water-cooled, and really making it simple for the consumer to make the choice uh, what's best for them. And uh, these will be ready to sell here shortly. It's the end of uh, 2018. We already have stock of them. Uh, the WC is approved by TAG USA already, and uh, the air cooled is approved uh, by TAG USA here shortly. And uh, we're excited for it to compete along with the IAMI KA100 and the Vortex um, air cooled as well. So, if you have any questions, you can hit us up on Facebook, send us an email. Uh, we tried to tell as much as we can about the engines here. 
But uh, as always, people have some questions, so we welcome them and uh, have a great racing season.